Hey, what's up guys? It's Boy the Wizard here, and today I'm going to show you guys what you guys can do in Lizbeth's workshop. Alright, so for this portion, I turn off my webcam so you guys can see what's going on with the weapon itself. So let's go ahead and go to Elizabeth. You guys know where she is in Kirito's room behind the desk. I want to enhance a weapon. We're going to talk about enhancing later because it's a little bit weird right now. Or don't understand it as well, but transforming, we're going to do that first. And when you read the bottom, it says combine two weapons and transform them into a new one. That's pretty much what you're doing. You're changing stats. So let's go ahead and pick a weapon first. So this is right now, it's going to be your base weapon. This is the weapon that you're going to be what it's going to turn into but you're going to enhance its certain stats so we're going to go ahead and pick this turbulence right here go ahead and click it and now if you see on the bottom where it says total it's, it's going to cost 3500 uh, c but then you also see that gold or the orange diamond that's 20 and if you see on the top right next to my normal credits there's the the gold one and the orange one you need that, that amounts in order to be able to transform it because say if i had like say if i had two and i only had and I needed 20, I wouldn't be able to enhance it, so I wouldn't get that option. So we're going to go ahead and press on it again. And now, after you make your first selection, that's going to be your base weapon. You want to make your second selection, and this will be whatever um, material you're going to use to enhance whatever gun you're using. So we're going to pick this one, this is what we're going to use to enhance our base weapon. Again, this again, the left side is going to be your base weapon that you picked, and the right side is going to be your material weapon, whatever you picked again. So right now they're all locked. Again, um, on the top right you have your unlocking chips. That's what you need to in order to unlock um, whatever enhancements you want. And you only can unlock two of them per weapon. So you want to pick which ones you really don't want. So for example, I really do not want trade value. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Use unlocking chips to convert this memory slot. So now we've unlocked trade value. But now we can switch it out with whatever material um, on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and press on trade value. And we're going to switch out with bullet stabilization speed. And if there's other ones that are there, you can go ahead and switch it out like normal. So you can go ahead and do that. In order, then once you want to confirm it, you can go ahead and press escape. It's going to show you your screen here. Nothing else is changing, but only for that one stat. So if you want that to confirm, you're going to hit OK. You want to proceed to finish and go ahead. And there you go. You can see on the bottom right, you still have, you now have, instead of trade value, you have bullet stabilization speed at 41.88%, which is actually pretty good. Before shotgun, not really. So I don't know why I did that. I'm just trying to show you guys. Now one other thing that's really cool. So go ahead. We're gonna use the same gun again, the turbulence, and we're gonna try and find something with the same stats. Cause I'm gonna show you guys what it does. This is nothing really big. I'm gonna show you something really easy. I'm gonna show you this one. This one's really cool. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this pistol. So. As you can tell, some of the mo so, um, on the left hand side, the text is now blue, and on the right side, you can see the ones that already say move. And this does this automatically, so you don't have to unlock these. So, what it does is to are gonna um, auto enhance it. So, we're gonna go ahead and press escape to confirm it. One of them says fully enhanced and will not be enhanced further. You want to proceed with the transformation, go ahead. So, press yes. That just means that there's one of the memory slots that are like already at, at its max like percentage, so it can't go any higher. So, it won't go any further. So, we're going to go ahead and press yes. So, as you can see on the left on the left hand side compared to the right hand side, it's going to be a little bit different. So, optical attacks stay the same at 16.11%. Damage versus life form on left hand it went from 2.19 to 3.36. Damage versus max it went up to 2.04, and ammo required went up to 25.32%. So again, if it's already there, it's gonna um, auto enhance it to whatever increases about whatever amount. So that'd be really cool. Now one cool tip I'm gonna uh, show you guys real quick. Um, just pick a weapon real quick. So I'm gonna pick this uh, long stroke two plus plus, and then for the enhancement, I'm gonna pick this dragon breaker right here. Now, the reason I picked this one right here is because it has the bullet circle stabilization at 80%, where on mine right now it only has 58%. Now, what you want to do is you want to pick a weapon that doesn't have it already, because if you were to go ahead and transfer it over, you're not going to get that full 80%. So, if I were to go ahead and confirm it, it only goes from 55 to 58%, you're only going to get 4%. So what you want to do, you want to find a weapon that you really like that doesn't have bullet circle stabilization speed. So we're going to find a weapon real quick, just to show you guys. <clears throat> so again, we're going to use this one here for example. We're going to go ahead and equip this one, the Beetlegeist 2. 
And we're going back to the same Dragon Breaker with the Bullet Circle Stabilization Speed. So again, this one doesn't have Bullet Circle Stabilization. But if we were going to go ahead and switch our Optical Attack, so we're going to press that one. And we're going to switch it with the Bullet Circle Stabilization Speed. We're going to get that full 80% where on the other hand we only went up 4% on our other gun. So it's better to find certain stats on different guns that you don't have. So say you have a sucky gun with bad stats, but it's a really good weapon overall, like it has good damage and it feels nice. But you want to find, and you have a, a gun that really sucks and it has really good stats, you want to find that, you want to combine those two, switch it out so you can get those full stats. Because either way, if you don't do that, like again, I'll show you guys real quick. So with trade value, this one has 3.85%, then this one has 66.48. Probably go ahead and confirm this. The trade value only goes up, what, 2%. You don't get the full 66% that was on the second gun. So again, you want to find one that doesn't have it and switch out whatever you want to use. And that's how I've been using uh, Elizabeth's Transform area. Now for enhancing, it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and go into enhancing. So with this one, you do have to have the weapon unequipped. So that way you're able to fully mod it. So if you had it equipped, let's go ahead and inventory unequip it. So we're going to go ahead and press on a weapon. Say it's try out the lupus 2 we're going to equip it so there's three of these formulas formula 1 2 and 3 reason there's three different ones is just kind of to one's easier than the other and one's a little bit less expensive so with the formula 3 it's also the most like expensive way you can do it advanced enhanced materials are very rare items that or they're, I think they're a legendary item and if you buy it from the shop I showed you guys from the other video it's super expensive so I wouldn't recommend doing this way this one's all rares, and this is a little bit easier to do, so it's like another alternative. And then this one right here, this one only has three materials, but again, this one has two uh, legendary or two epics, and then one rare. So it might be a little harder to get. So it just depends on which way you want to do it. And every time you do this, you can go up two levels, or you can go up one level every time you do it. So say I use one enhancement, uh, advanced enhancement material, my weapon rank will go up from five to six. And then if I were to do it one more time, it would go from 6 to 7. But every time you add one, the the materials double up. So after the first time, it would go instead of from one material, it would go to two. And so on. But there are certain guns that you cannot upgrade already or that have been already enhanced. So anything with a plus, that means it's been enhanced once. And if I were to go to... Oh, it doesn't even show up. So yeah, if anything has like has two pluses, that means it's already been enhanced and you can't enhance it anymore. And anything without the plus, the twos don't matter. There's like an upgraded version of the previous gun. Let's say this one, this one, I'm able to get it to level seven because it's rank five. With the Medu type ARK, it's a rank four weapon, so that means I'm able to get this level six. And then every time you were to enhance it, say I'm not gonna buy it because it's super expensive. If I were to enhance this, I'd just say oh, okay, confirm. It would be the Medu type AR Kai plus, so it add that plus to the end of it. That's pretty much how you use um, enhancements. They don't get really show you like a good way during the tutorial, so that's how you guys use them. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Other than that, thank you again. I hope to see you guys in the next one.